Okay, so this is a training video uh, by Build Test Solutions for the Lancaster West team on how to use the pulse equipment. So we're putting together our pulse equipment. It comes in three bits, which all need to be connected together. So over here, I've got my control box. That's just a normal power lead plugged in. And here's a data cable that goes between the control box, which is the brains of the operation, and the tank, which is in this box. So just spin that around. It only plugs in in one orientation. There, so found it. In it goes. That's the tank now connected to the controller. Now I need to be able to put air into the tank from the compressor. So this is just a hose. I'll push it on here, it's just a push bit. When I want to take it off, there's a little button there. Press release. Push fit. Exactly the same connection, but the male end rather than the female end into the compressor. Push fit, press release. Uh, and then the compressor's just got one button, which is on and off. It pressurizes the tank to 10 um, bar and it'll automatically turn off when it's finished. So you just need to turn it on and then when it stops making a noise as you've finished and you're ready to test. First thing we need to do is prepare the flat. Um, we need to measure air tightness, so we want all windows closed. So here's an open window. We'll close that. We've got our external doors closed. And then we want all of our internal doors open so that when we release air from here, it can get all around the flat and all the ways for it to get out of the building uh, are closed. Um, next thing we need to do is seal up deliberate ventilation. So this is sealing tape. We're going to go and have a look in the bathroom. Yeah. So here we've got a um, pretty standard extract fan. So I'll take some sealing tape. Rip it off. And then seal over the extract. Ooh, stood on my cable there. <laughs> it's quite sticky, so try and get it just on the plastic if there's paintwork around. Okay, we're sealed over that. And the next thing we need to do, sounds a bit odd, but we need to make sure that all of the water traps are filled so that you don't get air going to the sewers. So, let's hope we don't turn the shower on. Good. This is more important here because it's an empty flat, so it's probably not been used in a while. Don't need to do anything clever, just run a little bit of water on all the water outlets. Pull it down. Then we'll go into the kitchen. See, I was here earlier and I've already sealed over that extractor fan. Last water trap to fill. Okay, now we've got all our openings closed, all our internal doors open, uh, all our water traps filled, the building's ready for testing. Um, the next thing we need to do is measure the dimensions of the building. This is a good idea for time saving to do this while the air receiver is being charged up. So I need to know floor to ceiling height. If you're not so tall, you can do that by measuring from the floor up. 2.3 meters. And then I need to know, if I come in here, quite an easy building uh, to do because it's a nice square shape. So I just need to know floor to ceiling width. And then if I go from here, get a clear view through to the front door, I can get length. 
And then if we go through to my laptop, I've already worked out these dimensions. So here I've got length, width, height. Surface area is two times the length times the width. So that's the floor and the ceiling. And then um, it's a square building. So uh, length times height gets the area of one wall times that by two because there's two sides. Same for the end walls. And I've got my surface area. I've calculated my floor area here and times it by my height to get my volume. That's all the calculations I need to do. Then we'll take this and go to the control box. Thanks. So, here's the control box. We're going to do a test. So we tick, so touch screen, go with test, put in who you are. RJ for Richard Jack. Set. Put in your tank size. This is a 60 litre tank. Next. Then, do you remember the flat number? Two. 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 Tread. Gold. So this is a 60s block, 50, 66, a flat, it's ground floor, got a flat on each side, so we're mid-terrace, it's a cavity brick wall, next, building envelopes, this is the surface area we calculated earlier, one, two, four, Point seven. Okay, building volume seventy nine point four. Okay, next. Now we're ready to test. Um, we've got our box. This cable's about a meter and a half, two meters long. Try and get the controller nice distance away from the box so that when that air rushes out, it's not going straight at the sensors in the box. Um, Building's ready to go. We're going to have a test. When, when it launches, it will be just for a second quite loud. So just be ready for a little surprise. So I literally push button test. I'll press launch. Four, three, two, one. It's about to pulse. <laughs> now let's go. Three pulses all together. Now the um, sensors are all in the control box. It's got an internal computer, so it's calculating what happened with all the results. And the results will come up on the screen. So we've got an air permeability in here of 0.65 meters cubed per hour per meter squared, which is pretty airtight, actually. Uh, and that is the end of the test.